Who passed them out? Okay. Get your journal. Get out your table of contents. We're starting a new page. The title of this page is going to be Find Part of a Group. Find Part of a Group. That's going to be a new page. Get out your table of contents. Uh, you. See that bucket right there on the back? Go in there. Pass everybody a bag. Count them. Everybody bag count. A bag of count. Just pass out to them. No matter if you do about 20 or more, he's this. In fact, uh, you, you do it on this side. I got two. That's it. That's two people. Everybody else? Everybody else? Get out the table of content. Start the new page. Yeah. Get your 20 out. Put the rest of them back in the bag. Put it in the bucket over there. And for those of y'all just sitting at the desk, have y'all started y'all new page? Y'all take the content? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Do. And for the meantime, leave your stuff out because you have to take notes. Okay, just hold on to them. You got 20? Yeah. You got 20? Yeah. <clears throat> Y'all need to start writing this down. Let's go. Okay. Just leave right there, sit down, start right there. Let's go. I want to hear it because we're not going to spend all day writing it down.
everybody smoke? I'm going to pick it up today. Says, how can you find a fractional part of a group? Okay. That's what we're going to be doing today, finding a fractional part of a group. Says, when multiplying the whole number by a fraction, you are finding parts of a group. The denominator of the fraction represents the number of equal groups in the whole. The numerator represents the number of these groups we are interested in. Okay? The product would be the number of items in the group of interest or circle. Back. Once you're done, write it down, get out your books, page 421. Page 421. Okay, I need a volunteer to read that unlock the problem for me. Mr. Pryor, read that unlock the problem for me there, sir. Unlock the problem. Maya commits that she has twenty cents in her collection. Four, four How do we say that? Four fifths. Four fifths. Four fifths of her debt have been counted. How many of the stamps in Maya's collection have been counted? Okay. How 
How many staffs do we have? 20. How many do we have? 20. 20. How many do we have? 20. 20. Okay. So we need to represent 20 staffs. I think we got about 20. How many counters you got on your desk? 20. Some of y'all got 22. Y'all need to count out 20 of those. You don't have an even 20, then you need to count out 20. Okay? Okay, now what's the second what's the second thing that the problem said? It said what? It said four fifths of her stamps have been canceled. Okay. How many of the stamps in Maya's collection have been canceled? So what are we finding here? What are we what is it asking us to find? How many stamps in Maya's collection Okay, how many stamps in Maya's collection have been canceled? So we have to find four fifths of 20. Anybody have a, 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 a general idea how you think we'll do this? Anybody? No. Nobody? No. Nobody? No. Okay. Did we, talk, did we put our notes up? No. Or do we still got an idea? Okay. It says our denominator tells us what? What does our denominator tell us? Okay, so this is our, what is our denominator? Five. What is our denominator? Five. So how many equal groups will we have? Five. Okay, so let's take our counters and let's make five equal groups. Five equal groups. Take the counter, take the counter. And then make five equal groups. Okay. Everybody have their five equal yeah, groups made? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got five equal groups, right? Yeah. Now, looking at our five equal groups, how many do we have in each group? Four. Four. Okay. Now, on our notes, it says that our numerator tells us what? So come on, read it. Somebody tell me. What does it say? Okay, so what is our numerator in our fraction? Four. Four. Okay. So basically we're only looking at four of these groups. Okay? So I'm only looking at four of these groups. So one of them I'm not looking at, okay? Do we understand that so far? Yes. Our denominator tells us how many equal groups. We got five equal groups. Our numerator, which is four, tells us how many of these groups.